Oh, it's trippy. Hello, and welcome to the Flavors of Light channel. I'm Daniela, and... I'm Ali. Yeah, and I'm gonna do my second fruit review, and... Uh, Ali will just be here for as long as he wants next to me. Uh, today, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do Wani. So there are three, or not three types of Wani. There's many types of Wani. Let me see how many I got. Cause I have a little bag here. It's my little treasure. Oh no, it's already, it's a bit pretty. Mm. I think I have, I have, I have two varieties, only two. So they, you can see that it's quite an ugly mango. They can be beautiful too, like no, but they tend to be a little bit nicer when they're ugly, so... Uh, Wani is ripe when it is soft and you push in like a papaya, but not too soft, like uh, it just it just gives in immediately. You want a little bit of pressure because when, when the Wani goes to a... quite... more to the giving in very easily, it is not as delicious as as it can be um, it tends to get it can get a little bit of an alcoholic taste it's still it's, it's still good to eat but just the flavor changes also as it matures and ripens more it, be, it, it becomes more cooked foody as well um, and if they're a bit unripe if they're a bit unripe they are a bit bland and a little bit hard mm -hmm. um, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a game. It's also known as a white mango, right? Yeah, so Wani is actually not really a mango. It is a species to some other fruit, I don't fully know. Um, I just started enjoying Wani. I never I've only ever seen it here in Let Bali. Let me show you guys. Right Danny? Here. We've only ever seen it in Bali. Yeah, I've only seen Wani, so this is a rare mango. Um, it is a completely different species to the normal mango um, and I don't know fully which one it is related to but nevertheless it is delicious I'm gonna dig I'm gonna have one and I will describe the flavor to you mm -hmm. um, thank you I'm gonna go for, I, I will go for this one so one thing that you can see with Wani if you ever get it that it it can be um, worms actually like to go into this fruit so when you buy it make sure that you get with no holes in them um, otherwise just so you just be aware of that it's How just much did like you pay it, for these? it's um, I paid so it ranges right now Wani is in season it ranges from 10,000 a kilo rupiah Indonesian rupiah What's to like 60 um, pence UK to 15,000 a kilo and a kilo is like a kilo usually like three pieces is three four pieces yeah. and you get satiated do you get satiated on these things? yeah like three four three four can be a mono meal so a kilo is about a meal and so I'm peeling it now you can see the white the white inside mm. um, it looks like a pear yeah it does it does look like a pear like it a really ripe pear really thin um, skin and the nicest part of the one is actually on the outer end uh, it kind of becomes a little bit almost stringy and hairy as you bite in further mm, very strong aroma wow it's intense yeah, yeah. it's like it's like jungle fruit of Borneo they have this pungent intense smell yeah I very love, nice. we love jungle fruits it smells very a bit complex, like complex smells it's like minty it's like mentos mm, it's like and and toothpaste kind of mm. smell, you get me? But a sweet version of those. Okay, I'm gonna, just gonna peel a little bit. Excuse more. me. Let me see. <laughs> Detox. Okay. So here you have the white mango. Oh, it's shining so much. So you can see, like, look how ugly it is on the outside. And then you open up, and it's like this beautiful, beautiful, That's a beautiful fruit. Mm. Let's get a close up of the bite so you can see that yeah, it's, it's so similar to a mango. Show them inside, Danny. Yeah. So it's like me it's melt in your mouth. Digestion's amazing, it's mm. hydrating. 
it's very melty in your mouth. Um, you can see it has a little bit of a like hairy stringy texture. Get off. Um, no, it's my <laughs> mango. Bugs, bugs and insects. If they chase your fruit, you know you're eating good fruit. Mm. The flavor of this one, we can range a bit, but they do have a similar taste. Is it has that pear consistency a little bit, minus the grain, the grainy, sandy mm. kind of. It goes for a stringy mango of that. Mm, yeah. And it's like it's been punched in together with the mentos, uh, the candy, you know, like the, the round ones, the, the bean, white ones. The bean candy. And it just, it has a... It has this jungle aroma in it it's as like well. It's like a bit of a, it has that chewing, like the mint chewing gum flavor to For it. For me, it has a bit of like a champadak durian pungent yeah, the smell. aroma in there. Mm. You know what I mean? It just that uh, eat me. If you ever go to Borneo and you try some of these wild fruits, you'll see what we're talking about. It's very difficult to explain. I don't understand why they don't grow this anywhere else. It's mm. seed dissemination. It is so good. It's very filling mm. and hydrating. It's just that melting your mouth. The first time I had it was either one year ago or two years ago. Mm. And I just had a little bit and it was like, it's such a new flavor, you're not used to it, so it's a bit like, okay. Yeah. Um, and they can also be amazing, but also quite not nice. So the first mm. the first time I didn't really like it, I tried it a second time with you, um, up in Sudachi, in North of Bali, and I li liked it, but I could only have one, because it was very filling, it's very milky, like a milkshake. Look at that. Look, it's a, the, the beautiful thing is, is that you think, it's so ugly on the outside, what is that? And then yet yeah, on the inside you have ecstasy in your mouth. Mm. Danny loves this, like she's been thriving on this fruit. Yeah, I've been having mostly Wani for like a, a, a week. Yeah, and this is this is not what you're gonna find in a conventional supermarket at home, so to be successful on a raw food diet, you do want to make your efforts every now and again, invest your time and money to get out into exotic locations. Yeah, so you know like, it's the raw, what is the raw food diet about? Why is it that some people love it? Why is it that some people fail? Do, how do, come we feel do, so good on it? Do you need it? a certification in how to make gourmet foods? Mm. You know? Or is, this is for us. Nature is, does it. This is, this is the truth. And it's... Mm. But now, it was just like the noni. Give it like the third time I was hooked. Yeah. I had it with my uh, friend Julia up in her beautiful place. Um, and I, she opened one. I told her to pick some, but she said she, ha she, said she had some. Mm -hmm. And I thought she opened hers. But she opened it and I got to taste and I was like, Julia, like what the hell? Mm. Where did you get this? How did you pick this? It's amazing. She was like, you picked that. And I was like, what? <laughs> nah, you, me? And then I was like, wow. I picked it. I picked actually the like almost ugliest looking one from the market, and they turned out to be like it was super milkshake, quite yeah, quite syrupy uh, juiciness. But when you eat them, Danny, like every one is different, right? So what you have on the mm. table, you got like eight this of them. is so different from the one I had there with Julia. Mm. This is more hydrating, but it's it, it all have that beautiful aroma to it. So they're all it's a bit like durian. They're same, same, but different. Mm. The, I don't know, some, just the peeling of it, it's sometimes nice because you get a break from eating. Um, so I actually enjoy that. Thank you. Do you like to hydrate in between as well? It's like cleanses your palate. It's a bit like... Yeah, having... Oh, it's a nice one. <laughs> Fruit review for a coconut. Yeah, coconut, it's also very ranging. Um, this one's old, you can tell. Older, yeah. With the sound. But still not, still not like super sweet. I don't know what it is about Thai coconut, but... Yeah, but... But this is about, this is about one -y. So if you ever come to Bali, um, I don't know if it ever, if it exists somewhere else, you gotta try this. What it month is, is it here? It's, we're in April. Yeah, April. So I don't, I don't fully know when it's when it's when it is season, because um, it can range a bit. But now it is season for Wani, and it's April. Mm. Um, and uh, do they perish very quickly? Because I can see they're getting very soft. Yeah. So these you want to get every day. Mm. And yeah, that's a tip I'd give you all when you buy produce. Don't 
don't hold on to things because you're going to attract bugs and insects into your environment. Get what you need and every day you're going to have a different appetite for something else. So yeah. I don't, we don't like buying for more than maximum two days worth of produce. Otherwise we need to make sure we clean everything out and we keep us off um, free from rotting fruit. We don't like having rotting fruit mm -hmm. around or insects it's around. So, and it's so nice to actually go to the market, mm -hmm. buy three pitaya and mm -hmm. then go home. We're mostly on, co like our staple right now is coconuts. We have like 10 coconuts a day. Mm -hmm. um, not like five, five, but we usually buy 10 and then it differs. I drink seven, you drink three. <laughs> yeah, it tends to be that. Cause Ali have been passing. I have a higher rate of elimination, so. Mm. So if you want to taste milkshake melting your mouth mango that tastes like pear mentos super balanced and sweet jungle candy yeah that is super healthy super delicious eliminates well and make you look freaking beautiful get here and have this mm. <laughs> this is the, the, the most ironic thing is is that you can go speak to nutritionists who have done thousand dollar thousands of dollars in like educational programs you're never ever gonna find them recommending you to eat supreme tropical fruit they don't even know what it is they don't even know what this is in front of them this is the seed you see it's quite big so it's a round seed mm -hmm. it's shaped just like the the mango itself but is it, it's just small is it hard yeah it's hard it's super hard okay it's a mango shell. you have to be careful when you eat it yeah yeah but you just you just eat around it it's not that just got disseminated Hopefully it becomes a tree. That could be a tree. Um, so this, the, that was, it takes such a long time um, to peel and eat this, but it's a fruit review and this is the wani, the Balinese wani. So overall your rating for it is a... If you get a 10, good wani. Out, out of 10. Out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10. I freaking wow. love it. I've been eating it mostly for a week, so it's a really good fruit. So Make sure you grab some if you're ever in Bali and much love to you all and make sure to subscribe and like and uh, we really hope you enjoy our videos because there's a lot more to come and uh, we love you very much. Mm. <coughs> wow, it's trippy.